Well, Dave Challoner, welcome back to Edgley Park. How pleased are you to be back at Stockport County? Absolutely delighted to be back. Um, looking forward to meeting the staff and meeting the players tomorrow. Uh, and obviously no bigger game to start with than the FA Cup tie on Sunday. I mean, obviously you enjoyed loads of success at Hartlepool United. There was lots of interest in you over the summer as well and you stayed loyal to the club. How difficult has it been to leave the Victoria ground? Yeah, it's been ridiculously difficult. Um, again, once the interest came in, there's obviously always going to be an attraction. Um, but the affinity I'd built up with the fan base there was, was amazing and that was the the biggest um, tie that I had to really get over. And when you take emotion out of it, um, this move became a, a no-brainer. It ticked so many boxes. Um, and hopefully it will prove out to, or prove to be the right decision. I, I really think it will. When you look, I mean, the reason there was so much interest in you, Dave, I think over the summer is, is your, your track record. I mean, I was looking at it myself and, you know, it, it's got to be one of the best in non-league because... You look at the fact you've had, I think, five promotions as a manager in non-league, as well as an FA Trophy win at Wembley with Fylde as well. What's been, if there is one thing, what's been the secret to that success? Or have they each been, been very different? I think you've got to trust in the processes that you go through and what you're doing and set your mark out in terms of what you expect from your teams. Um, in terms of how you want to play, but have some... There's lots of variables in football. You need to control the things you can control. So without it sounding really simple, the basis of everything we've done has been around hard work um, and the players understanding what we need from them. And ultimately, a manager's only as good as his players. So picking the right players and getting them in a, a system and an organisation that allows them to go and show what they can do is the biggest part of it. Like I say, it's easy to... Uh, sit back and, and look back at the success you have but without the the players out there able to go and carry out the messages and, and, and the performance on the pitch that you asked for then ultimately no one's successful. And if you look at county now I mean you know sitting ninth in the table albeit with a, a, a game in hand is, is promotion this year still a realistic possibility? It has to be um, and you look at the everything's in place off the pitch um, the owner has invested in the club, the infrastructure, um, the squad. Um, there's, I've not met the players, but I know through last season and through the players they brought in, the ability within these four walls is, is ridiculous. Um, that doesn't always guarantee success, um, but it gives us a really good chance. So the, the, the season's barely started. There's still a huge, uh, a huge slice of it le left, and everybody here including myself, is ambitious um, and wants to try and experience another another promotion. And that's still something that's on the cards. Granted, it's a little bit more difficult than it was before a ball had been kicked, but there's every opportunity and we'll, we'll hope to take that. As you mentioned there, you, I mean, you had that opportunity to look at County at close quarters last season, most notably in that, in that playoff uh, fixture. What do, you, what do you make of the squad that's been assembled so far? What do you think of it from, from, from the distance that you've got? Squad's an amazing squad. Is it? Um, yeah. An amazing squad of, of really talented players. Um, cool. And what you have to do is try and... It's almost an embarrassment of riches yeah. in terms of where you fit them in and how they work <laughs> together. And it's getting that, um, I suppose, cohesion amongst, amongst them. So many... Um, attacking options um, at the top end of the pitch, so many goals within the team. I think you look at the big positives w would be that in a team that you manage, you want to try and have match winners because yeah. you're not going to play well all the time. Um, but if you look amongst the squad, there's match winners throughout it. Um, like I say, we've got to try and keep working at the, the shape and the organisation of them to allow them to perform at their best with a belief to show the ability that they've got um, and like I say I'm really confident we can do that. I mean I've watched your career in management at close quarters and obviously working with Carl and um, you were, you've always been a very pragmatic head coach whether it's been at Colwyn Bay maybe it's a little bit more expansive when you were at Fylde. Um, have you got in your mind given the set of players that you've got and, and perhaps the opportunity to bring in more have you thought about a style of play and a way that you might want to approach it and any changes you'd want to make? Um, I think f first and foremost it's about getting in the building looking at the players I, I witnessed or had the same um, scenario at Hartlepool played in a certain way first question is can the players 
do what I want them to do in terms of my style and my philosophy. If they can, brilliant. Um, and they'll all get the opportunity to, to, to show that. I think style and what the um, what the team does again is for me is a is a, is a club thing. Um, and I know from speaking to the owner, he wants to be entertained. And I think similarly to Hartlepool, a, a big club, a big home backing and big away backing, we've got to give the supporters something to shout about, and we've got to keep them in the game as much as possible. They become a big advantage if we've got them all in on our on our side, and if we can get to a point where everybody's pushing in the same direction, as was shown at my, at my previous club, that can be a really really powerful tool. So, yes, we want to be expansive. Yes, we want to be open. Ideally, we want to score lots of goals and concede not many. Um, there'll always be a consequence to us being open, but we want to give people. Um, or we want to showcase the talent that's within the squad and there's absolutely stacks of that. Obviously when you were here as a, as a player, I mean you were one of the last guys really to play in the championship with Stockport County, I know it was the old division. There wasn't one, stacks ability then. That was... <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if you think back to you know the, that squad, I mean obviously Carlton Palmer was there, you've got Ali Gibb, Luke Beckett, Ricky Lambert, all these kind of players, I mean it was they, they were great days. I know all right we dropped out of that division but um, with that hindsight that you've got coming back into this place, what strikes you is that what's really changed around Stockport County? I'm clearly lower down the pyramid, but what's changed in terms of the infrastructure? This is a, this is a completely different club than, than what it was. I suppose yeah. when I came into the football club um, back in 2002, um, in, in the January, the club were at the bottom of the championship, realistically already relegated. Yeah. I think we got relegated with the lowest points total in, in the February. And the, the club was in transition, just as the club's in transition now, but it was a transition away from away from Col and away from Flinney and Macker and um, and, Al and all the big names and yeah. the club was reducing in size a you little bit. You could see that then. Yeah, well, yeah. We, the, obviously the club then got sold to, or things got sold off to Sale Sharks yeah. and rather than us using their training ground now, they were taking ours. So it's it sort of flipped completely. The club has obviously gone down the divisions, um, has managed to stabilise. Um, managers have come in. Jim did a, a brilliant job. Obviously, got the club back to back to this level, um, and it's now about about kicking on. And the the infrastructure that's now in place allows the club to move forward. What we've got to make sure is that the progression off off the pitch is mirrored by what happens on the pitch. That's the most important. This football club has to be a football league club. And the quicker we can achieve that, the quicker things can move on. Obviously, the ambition is to do that this season. Um, and that's not changed. And that's where our, our sole focus has to be, really. You said something earlier, Dave, there about, uh, about leaving Hartlepool. And you said that probably the biggest thing keeping you there or making you think you might stay there was the supporters. They were actually trying to pull you back and we know that having said that on the reverse you played at Edgley Park in front of eight nine thousand regularly and there is a feeling that we're getting back towards that now how big an influence was that in your decision as well it's a huge influence um, and you only need to look at the, the tickets that have been sold for Sunday to, to show the the potential that was, that's within the football club what I said when I went to Hartlepool and I say exactly the same is that um, we're fortunate in terms of we've got a squad of players that are maybe used to the, the bigger occasion and used to a higher league. Um, we've got to make sure that Edgeley Park in particular becomes somewhere where people are, are not so much fearful of coming, but know what they're going to get. Know they're going to get a tough game, know they're going to get a, a, a vociferous sort of atmosphere, know the fans are going to be right at our, at our backs. We're responsible for doing that in terms of what happens on the, on the pitch. Um, but if we can do that, like I say, that becomes a hugely powerful tool, and it's cliched in terms of saying, "Oh, it's the it's the twelfth man and, and things like that." But if it's on the reverse, it can become a difficult place to play. And you look at the the results from earlier in the season. There's no way you'd have picked some of the teams to come to Edgley Park and win. We've got to turn it back into that fearful place. I, I truly believe we can do that. But in order to do it, we have to have the supporters really back in the players, and I've no doubt they will. You've mentioned it twice already. You're clearly very, very excited for this weekend and that trip to Bolton, knowing that you've got 5,000 of the Blue and White Army uh, at your back. I and mean, it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere. How do you approach 
a game like that, your first game in charge, and it's a club two divisions higher. Um, is it a free hit for you, or is it not? Does it not work like that? I suppose it is a little bit, but also it's a, a massive opportunity. I think you look at what the club aspires to be and what the players aspire to be. It's a, a good marker of, of of where we are currently. It will be a, a real my first insight from being inside the building of of, of what the squad is and what the players are. Um, but it's a big opportunity for them. Um, so although from the outside, you go there as, as huge underdogs. Um, without actually meeting some of the players within the dressing room, I know we've got characters that are winners. Um, so they will not be thinking of going to, um, to Bolton and sort of, of lying down. We've got to, in the brief time we've got, um, put a, a plan together. We have to tweak things a little bit with, with, with Dave, um, but things aren't going to be wholesale change. Um, we'll go there with a good squad of players looking to have a plan to go and try and progress into the next round of the FA Cup, cause an upset, and who knows what that brings, not only, like say, for the football club in terms of finances, in terms of profile, um, for people to see that this, as a squad of players, is one that can, uh, can really uh, push forward and, and have a successful season. Oh, we're all looking forward to it. And um, I mean, one thing you will notice when you go around Edgeley Park, that a lot of the faces will still be the same from, from 20 years ago. Some of the staff are still the same. A lot of the supporters are still the same as well. If you've got one final message to give to the, the Blue and White Army before you take charge tomorrow morning, what would it be? What would you say to them? It would be, as I've just said, really. Um, this football club is a different place um, with big ambition. Um, but everyone within the building and within the football ground have the same objectives and that's to be successful. Um, it'll be a journey that we can go on, um, a journey that hopefully will have a really, really positive ending, but everyone will play their part. Whether they think they play a huge part or not, um, they don't realise the impact they can have on, on, on players. Um, like I say, I can't guarantee success. I can guarantee we'll be doing everything we can to try and get that success and hopefully um, it can mirror the scenes that I was fortunate to witness last season from, from my perspective. Um, and at the end of it, I sat back as a, an EFL football club. Well, listen, Dave, on behalf of all the Stockport County fans, I just want to say welcome to Stockport County. Welcome back to Edgley Park and good luck for the season. Cheers, John.